Hi, it's Dom from the MS Guide. Day five of my limb trada. I'm actually into my hospital room early. Nobody gets here till nine and it's about half, half eight. So I've set the whole place up. The nurses think it's odd because I do work on my computer. I've got my, um, got my laptop here. It's a crappy old one, but it's slow and it does the job and I can do things. I think they expect people just to lie there. Anyway, um, this is my trusted infusion machine that you'll be able to see. So the lemon trotter goes in there. First thing they do, uh, they put in the um, they put in the uh, Venflon or IV, depends what you call it. I insist they do it up here. I cannot stand it down there. Then um, in goes a big hit of antihistamines, but they immediately then hook up a bag of uh, steroids, so ones that have been keeping me awake. And um, after the stories are done, then the lemon trotter goes in, then it gets finished off with a set down flush. And then I'm generally now, I was out of here yesterday about half three, I had to do a couple of other tests for somebody. I've got to do some cognitive tests this morning for the researcher, uh, Wafa, who's in the room next door. He works for Dr. Nana Pavan, who's my doctor for this. Um, Everything's going fine. I'm getting some hives and I mean, I, they're not massive, but it's, I'm getting big sort of red rashes in places like this and down there. But I put E45 cream on, I take Effexafenadine 180, which is about a 24 hour pill and they go away. They don't itch, they don't drive me mad. Um, I don't think if I stripped off, I'd be getting um, many hiring requests. Well, forget the hives. But uh, other than that, everything is going absolutely fine. I am so looking forward to this being closure. This is my fifth DMT in 28 years of MS. And though there's got a lot of follow-up bloods and I have to go in for three days in a year's time, that'll be me not having to go and constantly engage with DMT. So you get that with HSCT stem cells, you get it with cladribine, and you get it with levetirada. And you know, MS is there, it ain't gone away. Um, Cops from abuse on Twitter last night, I think, because I just have a different view. It's not going away, whatever you think about it. And I'm not here to tell you that you must do something. But in my view, the more we know now, it turns out that the sooner that this is attacked and treated and got on top of with the best possible drugs and diet and sleep and things like that, then that will then enhance your long-term outcomes because it's about losing your marbles, it's about losing your physical ability, your hands, your legs, your balance. And um, that's why I keep pressing at it because I just want to give myself the best shot. I'm 53, so I don't plan on carking it lately or, or, or in the near future rather, but I want to give myself the absolute best shot. And that's what I want for anybody. If I could talk to um, newly diagnosed me at 24, when there were all the options now, I'd be saying, mate, you need to think about the things, and I can enumerate the things that MS has taken away from me, uh, which are not nice, but they're nowhere near as bad as other people. So I've been very fortunate like that. I wouldn't want that to happen. Anyway, that's my view. Day five, I get to go and isolate with a very kind friend on the Isle of Wight, which I'm looking forward to. So it's my FPP2 mask, sit on the train from Waterloo down to Portsmouth Harbour, foot passenger on the ferry, get picked up two weeks, I'm just praying they've got good Wi-Fi. So I have to give a talk to the MS Society of India uh, a week Saturday. So um, I want to be able to get everything together and I hope it doesn't drop out. I have no idea. So we'll see what it's like. Anyway, guys, thanks for sticking with this. Really appreciate it. Take care. See you on the flip side. And I'll tell you how I'm getting on. Cheers. Bye-bye.